to relocate, try to relocate us out of here. Gentrification is a real reality, not just here in Boyle Heights, it's across the country. So, this is not conducive, it's disrespectful. Vivian, I've known you, I don't know how long, I, I don't know how long you've worked for MTA, but you were not here back in the 90s when they pushed out the people, okay? So at the end of the day, I don't know what they're telling you, but you can build all the housing you want, we don't have enough classrooms for our children. We don't have enough green space. We don't have enough uh, viable recreation centers, educational centers for our community. Nadine, Mental health Nadine, centers. Can I have one moment, Nadine? Let's let's just wrap it up, just because other people do need to speak. And in with response to what you're discussing uh, in regards to MTA, we went through a process. This workshop that we had, the workshops that we had, and many of those. With people who are here today, Fine. we're at those workshops, we went through a process, we tallied all the uses, everyone sat around at tables, it was hard for okay. us, it, let, me, let me finish now. We had a table, it was basically just white paper, what do you want to have? People went, they put dots, you may have been at some of those meetings, I think you were at the meeting that we had at Salesian High School, one Saturday morning, where everyone talked about it was uh, attended by about 80 people. It was for mariachi. And we people put on boards what they wanted to see. And if we go back to that slide, um, do you mind, Lee? When we talk about uses, because Carlos, this goes to what you brought up a moment ago. What did people want to see on this particular site? And these were, the, these were the uses. Over and over and over again. We need um, grocery stores. No, on Mariachi Plaza, over and over and over again, affordable housing. It was the number one use that people asked for on the Mariachi Plaza site. Number two, a grocery store. As Lee pointed out at the very, very beginning of the meeting, in order to have a grocery store, you need a certain amount of footprint. So because we have Chavez Ficket, which also in those community charrettes, people ask for a grocery store. We said, okay, you can't have two grocery stores within a mile, plus this particular site is behind on Bailey and Pennsylvania, it's zoned residential. So we moved the, the proposal of grocery store to Chavez Picket. The next use, parking. We have shown parking. All the blue that we show in terms of uses, and if you have your hand out, is for public parking because we heard over and over and over again that the businesses on First Street, like Un Solo Sol and all of them, they don't have parking. Plus the fact that the city comes and does their street sweeping during the time that they have their businesses. So they said, let's put in some public parking. We've tried to show some public parking. Street Vendor Hub. Over and over and over again, people That's wanted fine. to have a street vendor hub. We need we, it. So we, we incorporated an area so that we want to work with community-based organizations to allow for a street vendor hub. And finally, park playground. So what we want to do is have open space. Many times, buildings that are built, affordable housing projects that are built, they incorporate the open space within the building. It's inside you can't get through. What we want to try and say is, let's put the open space on the outside. Let's have some community flex space so that there could be an opportunity that it's not just for the people who live there, but there's be some kind of partnership so that it's open to the public. Excellent. So when you talk about the uses that people ask for, and we, have, support that. we have incorporated all those uses. So Just a second. I the mic. I, I know, I know, but let, let's talk about this. Let, let me just hear from everyone else, and then I'll give you an opportunity, or if you have a question for me. I have a question. Okay. I what, have, question. what happened to the 149 families that were originally located? Okay. That is an excellent question. I Those families were probably relocated. I can't answer it very specifically, and I'd be happy to answer that question and find out, but the 149 units were replaced throughout Royal Heights. 149 units were built. In fact, some of those units were known as Las Mariposas, different sites all over 
on Evergreen on Cummings, all 12 Boyle Heights, 149 units. Where are the 149 families that signed forms saying by the MTA, we need to build this, and once we build housing, you can come back. That was a, I can bring you the first woman family that was relocated and the other families that are not here. So who are you gonna move in? Nadine, as you well know, we have a process. It's the process that all our nonprofit housing developers use, whether it's a community of friends, which they're building no. affordable housing, whether it's ELAC, whether it's a boat. They go through a process, and our objective, and in response to someone who brought it up, we are proposing 100, let there be no misunderstanding, we are proposing 100% affordable housing. That is what the community has asked for, and what all the different development developers do, and we're requiring them to do an outreach program to ensure that they work with community-based organizations to have outreach, to have working sessions, to have counselors to help people um, you know, fill out the application. At Mariachi Plaza, will that be East LA Community Court or will it be a community of friends? At this no, no, no. We haven't issued, we have not issued an RFP. Okay. We're only in the process of doing development guidelines. The RFP will not be released probably until January or February of next year. At that point, people will respond to that. No decisions have been made. This is just it's just raw land, and all we're doing is getting ideas for development. For each site. Okay, so right now, we're going to go to... We have three questions. Three questions. Okay, let her go her. It's okay. Have your friend. Quisiera preguntar a la señorita que se está diciendo, quisiera qué es lo que nos está diciendo, o porque yo no le entiendo lo que ella está platicando, o lo que nos está diciendo nuestra comunidad. No, la señorita que estaba aquí. Quiero saber qué es lo que estaba, porque no entendí nada. Ajá, ¿qué pretende decirnos? And Nadine, we have gone through the process of having people come to the meetings. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Mi pregunta es esta: cuando se hizo el metro, nunca tuvimos junta para la comunidad y no estuvimos de acuerdo que estuviera en el metro y nos reemplazaron mucha gente. Si usted como dijo hace ratito estaba pendiente nuestra comunidad no estuvo porque hicieron el metro sí nuestro consentimiento. Ahora los trabajos que están haciendo nos están pidiendo opiniones. Sí necesitamos vivienda. Sí necesitamos vivienda económica. So when the metro was built, where were you? How can you come and try to say something with it when a lot of people were moved to build the metro? When, and now you know they're asking us what we want to do here. So why, where were you when? Okay, ladies, I don't want to do this as a back and forth. Everybody has an opinion, and Nadine has put forth some important points about what's important for the community, and thank you very much for speaking up. And yes, Metro came in many years ago, and we did have a new domain, and people were displaced, and we understand that. And I cannot change that. I can't change the past. I can only move forward. And what we're trying to do today is present to you our proposal for this particular property and we think it reflects the voices of the people that have been attending our charrettes and our workshops that we've held since February. And I think that we have an opportunity to make perhaps some amends and bring some good. These parcels have been fallow for many, many years and it's time to move forward and have the type of development that re-energizes these corners, re-energizes these properties. We have, we have a few questions. And just, you know, again, just to be fair, that, you know, people do have questions. People came here for a certain topic. And just we appreciate the passion. Uh, we just also want to be respectful of other people to make sure all voices are heard. So with that, I'm going to turn to the DEA. 
then you're next, and then I think the lady has a question as well. Okay, so please go. Bueno, muchísimas gracias a Metro y estoy muy lastimada por la señora por la manera inadecuada que ella habla porque ella habla de títulos y títulos nosotros no tenemos título, tenemos corazón defendemos el terreno y estamos aquí, ¿por qué? porque dice que cuando no saben ni saber una cuenta, manejar una cuenta de banco, claro que sabemos eso lastima a la gente entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? la gente tiene corazón, entiende no es un nivel, porque ella fue a la universidad nosotros no pero sí queremos nuestro lugar y queremos nuestra gente y por favor, su actitud no se acepta aquí. in a very rude manner. We think that we, in a way, it's very disrespectful that you come and talk the way that you talk and say that you have this and you have that, you have certain cert uh, certifications and titles. We don't have that. We're humble people. We don't have none of that. We appreciate it, but that kind of manner is not appreciated here. So, there, 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 again, I think, thank you. And, you know, we have se several differences of opinions. I think if we start getting into this back and forth, then we're not going to get to the core and we're going to miss our time because I'm respecting the Father's time uh, to be out of here. And so if we don't conclude with the things, the questions relating to this, we're not going to get an opportunity for that. So please, let's use this time to be productive. I think if there's a meeting about bigger issues, that should be organized and then People should be invited to that venue for that. Uh, and I want to say so. I think that tonight has been very productive. And I want to thank all of you at Aideen. Thank you for coming. All of you, thank you for coming. And I think that we've had some really great input. And it's input that we can take back in developing our guidelines. And Robert? So, good evening. My name is Robert Zettelman. I'm the executive director of College of Bill. Um, I've seen both spectrums of the argument. As somebody who's grown up in this neighborhood since 1975, So I understand the frustration of a lot of folks. We're frustrated. And I'm, I'm in a really tough situation. Personally, these have been, I can speak for a lot of folks that I know in this room, it's been a tough couple months since all this started months ago. Um, it's crazy how the water is right now. I mean, we can build the tension. We can build the tension. And it's, I personally have to make a decision on whether I was going to attend this meeting or attend a vigil for one of four young people who have been killed by police officers within our Rawhides community over the past year. And um, so the, the issue is complex. I mean, it's, it's really tough. I mean, and there's a lot of folks to blame. I blame my, you know, in, in terms of, you know, I really appreciate MPAs being responsive to the community and, and, and hosting these meetings. I don't know, I know I, I hear a lot of yelling at MPA, which, I mean, some of it is random. Because the history is hard, right? You know, but also it has to come to us too. Because when we had this fight, when we came to the Fuente Center, and we filled that spot up, there was a lot of folks who were angry about these developments. And we fought, there were some of us who fought really hard to make this happen community spaces happen. But I feel, to a certain extent, we fail because the young, me personally, I'll call myself out, the young people that I had coming to the events of Alpanta, they're not here today. And they haven't been here. And so we haven't done a, better, a good enough job making sure that we get our constituents, because we all have a fight. Everybody in our, I, I've been, I've been in Paul Heights and for a long time. We love to fight. But sometimes the plan and the tough work, the difficult work, the compromise, that's a different challenge. And that's something that we all, as individuals, have to challenge our anger to really figure out the development is gonna happen. We have to make sure the development that happens reflects our community. And sometimes, my 